Okay, just here in the hotel in, uh, in Tohai, and we optimized as best we could. Uh, we also turned off the AC, and it is already getting hotter in here. Literally just turned it off. Okay, Enjoy. So, so let's just head up these big staircase, I guess. Feel the burn. Feels the burn. Oh, hey, Anna, what you got? Cutscene. Hey, Anna, what are you doing here? I've been thinking about what happened back at the G-System. He knew me. He knew my name. Kristen, I might be your enemy. Don't say that. You don't know for sure. I've been hearing his voice in my head all along. He warned me when there were powerful enemies nearby. He warned me of reinforcements coming our way. Whoever he is, he's been watching me all along. I never realized. I thought it was simply my subconscious talking to me. It doesn't matter, Al. I still believe in you. No matter what your lost memories may tell you, you're one of us, and that's what counts. Though I may not be able to bring back your memory, we can always make up for what you've lost. Even if I'm your enemy, I don't care. I'll always be here for you, Al. Always. You really don't mind? Of course not. So cheer up, all right? I will. It's me. Yeah. Alright, so let's hit up the weapon shop. Yeah, I was to say, more importantly... <laughs> what you got, Traveler? Jumper prevents. I only had a cure-all in stock. <laughs> Alright, so, what do we got here? Our friendly neighborhood arm stealer. Gatling shield. That's cute. Arm Gatling gun. Beam cannon. Long cannon. <laughs> long cannon is long. What's the... It's a full... It... 60 points worse. Yeah, but... It fits on the gym sniper. I mean... I'm tempted. Bullpup machine gun. Um, better than the machine guns we have. Long rifle. Beam rifle. I prefer long cannon. You wanna get the long cannon or long cannon is long? <laughs> <laughs> right, actually, first I'm gonna get a couple of these to go around, and then I'm gonna sell off the crappier machine guns. Okay. Huh, picture in the background's got a Zaka machine gun on it, I think. Part of me is tempted to say, like, as much as I hate it, we could possibly afford to get rid of the Zomo Cannon if the long cannon is cheaper energy-wise. Because... I'll double check on that. Because the Zomo Cannon is like one point energy too high for some of Aeon's abilities. Hmm. Like, we may not have the Zomo Cannon, but... What's she, what she got? She has Megafire 1 to 4. Okay, let, let's check. Uh... Long cannon, energy cost is four. I wouldn't say let's sell the Zamo cannon just because there's only one. No, that's not leaving our inventory <laughs> <laughs> ever. But it's kill the AC and the bugs. The bugs start up. Lovely. So, okay. So you agree with me, <laughs> Isa? Yes. The decision has been made. That it's is like I hate to say we're, we're getting rid of the Zamo cannon, but it's it served its purpose. It served its purpose. And it's smaller. We and we can actually give her a beam saber if we had another one. Hmm. Okay, can, can we give her a beam pick? Yeah, let's actually let's give her the ninja sword. It's a gun cannon with an acid laden katana. I, I know it's not actually a katana, there's a difference. And katana's that's, actually... That's, that's not even what the problem with that was. It was like just the lady. sheer amount of weeb from that sentence <laughs> physically hurt me. <laughs> what, give this giant robot this, this acid like, coat? It wasn't even intentional, it's just a gun cannon laden with the uh, acid coated katana. <laughs> oh my Anyway, that should be good. Did we buy a beam rifle or no? I don't remember. I think we did. 
No, we did not. Yeah, these things suck. 28 damage. The Machine Gun Kai does more damage than that. <laughs> it increases your melee ability by 5, though. So, it probably, honestly, wouldn't be bad. Sure. If it would fit. It does. We can get rid of the uh, small cannon that we never use. True. There it is. Alright, so from here. Um, I think I think we're pretty good. Yeah. Just uh, slap a metal guard on here. And could slap one on Aeon, but she won't be able to snipe from there. So I'm just gonna slap one of these on the left arm and just bolster Gavenger all around. Oh wait, we gave Tremi a new lance, we haven't even got any, I haven't even gotten to use that yet. And I, I'll just leave Vargas with that, that beam rifle for now. I mean, it's good. Yeah. It was doing work. Alright, so let's head out and progress to the next part of the story. With these big stairs. Actually, what do you have? Mr. Purple Overalls. Another one? I guess so. Go upstairs. Yeah. But honestly, like, you're saying it sucks, but if it increases your melee ability by a flat amount, that's actually pretty good, in my opinion. It sucks as a, as a ranged weapon. Yeah, it sucks as a ranged weapon, but that's not what I would use it for. I would use it as a uh, flat plus five in a slot that I'm not using otherwise. True. Ah, sorry. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said I'm sorry, calm down. Pervert! Look, can't we just forget about the whole thing? Vargas, what's going on? You came in the nick of time, buddy. What happened? Uh, well, it was a big misunderstanding. Don't lie, that man was peeping. Peeping? Really? No! I told you it's a misunderstanding, I was just climbing those stairs! <laughs> then why were you crouching halfway up the stairs? Crouching? <laughs> I... Uh, suddenly had a cramp. Liar! I'll teach you a lesson with my fists! Wait, wait, this violence really is necessary? Yes. Oh god. Common in the city to just have brawls in the middle of the street? I mean, I guess. What are you doing? Trying to kill me or something? Yes. How could this be? You evaded my fist twice! Well, the first time it was actually your foot, but okay. You are no mere peeping Tom. Very well. I'll let you off with just a warning this time. Now be gone! Right. And don't ever show your face before Lee Fang again! Can we talk about how screwed up that is, kinda? Oh wait, I can't kick your ass. I guess I have to leave you alone. <laughs> Li Fang, Li Fang, however you pronounce it. I'll go with Fang. Uh, Li Fang, that's got a nice oriental ring to it. Vargas, what were you thinking? Don't be mad, I was just playing around. See that building behind me? 20 guesses what that is. That, my friend, is Kay's Manor. I believe that pleasant lady we just met is one of his bodyguards. Hmm. Huh? So you mean that whole peeping thing? I guess I assume too much. Sorry. Is that thunder? Yeah, that's thunder. <laughs> no worries. Still, let's just keep this whole incident between you and me, hmm? Okay, I'll tell us all. That's the spirit. Now then. 
Let's go see Mr. K. Don't tell me we're barging right in. <laughs> no, we're, we aren't going to barge in on anyone. We're going to have a little business discussion with him. I'll ask him to put some of his items up for sale in my black market. Okay, but why? Because any legitimate merchant would turn me down. <laughs> uh, I, I can't argue with that one. Yeah, but if he accepts my proposition... Oh, I see. Gotcha. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Now then, shall we? Walk cycle going upstairs is still weird. Walk cycles in this game are weird, period. Hold it! Who are you? You do, do realize this is Mr. K's property. Wait! We don't want any trouble! I'll let you do both cards. I didn't realize I had both characters. <laughs> I have a juicy proposition for your boss. Tell him that the Sky Pirate Vargas is here to see him. Vargas? Vargas from the Black Market? The one and only! Wait right there. I'll double check with Mr. K. You're in luck, he says. He'll meet you. Whatever you do, don't offend him. Well, he better stay off Twitter then. I am Mr. K. Now state your business. Let's save the formalities. I'm here to offer a partnership. A partnership? I'd like you to put your items up for sale on my black market. I have too many customers and too little to offer them. Tell you what, I'll pay a 20% premium for quality stuff. I believe you have been misinformed. I have no intention of doing business on a black market. Oh. Huh, <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. Alright, 30%, but I won't go any higher. It's not a matter of money, I'm afraid. I simply don't do business with criminals. You may show yourselves out. Now. I came here with a good offer. Is this the thanks I get? Heh, <laughs> you're lost. Come on, Tristan. <laughs> Shrugs. Hmm. What do you have to say? <laughs> Many apologies. My staff can get very excited at times. May I suggest that you leave now before anything unfortunate happens? And with that, I'm gone. <laughs> hmm, lots of people in here. Break that vase, and then suddenly we get inducted into a host club. He didn't take the bait, did he? Nope. So that means he isn't involved with the Dark Alliance? Not necessarily. If he really was legit, he wouldn't have even met with us. Mm. He wanted to see what we were up to. Pretty slick, you gotta give him that. So what do we do now? We catch him in the act. If he's working with the Alliance, he's got to have a hideout somewhere. The folks in town might know something. Let's see what we can find out about the old, or about what old Mr. K is up to. Alright, so we gotta find another town elder, I suppose. Just like back at Eldar Song. Yeah. Can I go around the back here? No, I guess not. I think of a different game. Another game that has a building very similar to this, but it's got something behind, behind it. I could have gone the other way. That's not a door? Okay. Tristan can't walk up on a curb, apparently. Yeah, let me see if I can go. No. Yeah, okay. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> but the guard over there is just like, in or out, kid, you're letting out the AC. Uh, nothing over here either. Very nice design, though. Yeah. And one critique I gotta give this is, as an RPG, in terms of secrets, it's... Eh. Bare bones, almost. It's like, it's not Mystic Quest levels of, of secrets not being there, but like, the towns don't have too much to offer. Mm -hmm. And... Oh. At least not until you get to the later stuff, and... At least the secret dungeons are a good challenge, but it's a thing of 
After you collect everything, there's literally nothing else to do. I mean, that could be said for every game, but still. Ah, our first lock pick. What do we got in here? Hmm. I'm just gonna take your life savings. That's a good bit of money. <laughs> Isn't that literally what I just did? I just took your life savings. We are straight up burglars. <laughs> it was locked too. Does breaking and entering mean anything to you? Okay, nothing back here. What do y'all have to say? This is just between you and me, but have you heard of Mr. K? Well, outside of that, I better not. Favorite word over here. Hmm. I'm stuck. Huh? You want to know about Mr. K? Um, go ask someone else, okay? I kind of want to stay alive. <laughs> Jesus! Okay. Let's start going inside these houses and see what we can find. Again, breaking and entering. Smoke bomb. Why do you have a mobile suit sized smoke bomb in your living room? See, that was a one we should have broke into. That man <laughs> was up to something. <laughs> That's some men in black. Yes, right. You want to know about Mr. K? Well, you didn't hear from me, but he's a wicked, wicked man. He gets rid of anyone who stands in his way or speaks out against him. Okay. Well, let's go tell him on you. <laughs> that was like his house and his life savings, too. <laughs> We're still like a chaotic, chaotic evil run of this game. Hey, Trimmy, what you got? A cutscene! Trimmy, find any clues yet? Huh? All right. No, nothing so far. Is something bothering you, Trimmy? You don't seem yourself. Um, well, it's nothing, really. I was thinking about something that happened a long time ago. It just pops back into my mind from time to time. As if I wanted to remember. Sounds like a bad memory. You don't say. You bet. I wish I could forget it for good. But I can't. And I guess I shouldn't. Did I ever tell you? I used to have a big brother. A really good one. But he sacrificed himself to save me and our family. He gave everything to protect us. He was so strong. So kind. It hurts every time I think of him. But they don't ever let you forget, do they? Someone is using my dead brother's name to do all sorts of terrible things. Whoever the imposter is, I'll never forgive him for shaming my brother's name. That's terrible. Who'd do such a thing? I don't know, but I'm not stopping until I find him and make him pay. The imposter is a member of the Dark Alliance. Let's find an arms dealer, fast! So just by putting context clues together, her brother was the real Lady Zarth and someone stole his name. Otherwise, they would have told us his name then. Yeah. No, no walls over here? Or no Is secret doors? Door? Yeah. Go inside the door. This is about as far into the town as we can get from this side. You have to... Oh, hey kid, what you got? Who are you? You aren't from here, are you? No, I'm traveling into the world, fighting the bad guys. Are you a friend of Mr. Case? No, I came to fight Mr. Case. <laughs> really? Can I ask a favor, then? Sure. Could you please stop Mr. K? He's a very bad man. Why do you say that? My dad was an explorer, but was killed in one of his expeditions. Before he died, he said Mr. K, he saw Mr. K in some ruins in the mountains. There's a reason that my dad was killed. Ruins in the mountains? Can you tell me where they are? I'll go check them out. They're far to the west of this town. It's in a place called the Wyvern Ravine. Here, let me mark it on your map. Leave the rest to me. I'll make sure your father's death is avenged. Thank you. Alright, so this must be that place we ran into earlier by accident. Alright, so now that we have the info we need, let's just head over there. Yeah. I mean, we already already found the place, so... Just make sure there's nothing else to explore in town now. Yeah. Do, do, do.
Also, it bothers me that no one brings up the fact that uh, Vladi's art and uh, or Vladi's art shares a last name with the guy who has total control over G systems. Yeah. Rivage, I think it was. Yeah, Gavinger did. It, no, Gavinger brought up that the, the guy who was in control of it was named Rivage, or was named Rivage Lark. But the correlation between the two last names wasn't brought up. Not during that particular conversation, but he has before. He mentioned uh, during during the battle at uh, in the mines. He mentioned uh, you're being manipulated by Rivage Zarth's ghost, referring to Lady Zarth. Oh, people here are, are really loyal to Mr. K. Make no mistake about it. There's no point in asking questions. Let's just ask some place else. Okay, well let's break in here to this house too. <laughs> Steal your life savings. I like it's much worse than what Mr. K's probably doing. Right? Yeah. I'm a. Uh, Oh, what's his name? Uh, I'm the sheriff of Nottingham here to collect the taxes. <laughs> that is not. That was that was hamster dance. Crap. It's the same rhythm though. More weapons. Better weapons, hopefully. More weapons. Hello, what you got? You're a stranger here, aren't you? Watch your manners when shopping at the K Trading Company. If we're here causing trouble for Mr. K, we'll slice you up like a sashimi. Capiche? I hit both mafia critique, or critique stereotypes. <laughs> what, uh, Yakuza and Italian? Yep. Goku Shield. Yes. Metal Car 2, I got one of those. Oh. Yes. Arm Guard is stronger than the Metal Guard 2. Heathawk Kai. Uh, large Heathawk. With a sword like piercing tip, so you can you can use it to stab people too. Well, oh, what about the beam gun one? That. Would that not be better for It it would. Go ahead and grab that first. I mean, we've got it, there's no point in not giving her the best equipment we've got. Yeah. But also frees her up room for a shield. Or slap that back on her. There we go. You still have room for a shield. She's wearing a shield. Is she? Huh? Alright, so just blew the guy's life savings in here. I thought that was a chest right there for a second. That was good. I was totally about to take it. Alright, so let's head uh, head out to the Wyvern's ravine. Is it Wyvern or Wevern? Eh. Weaver. I think the proper pronunciation is Wyvern. Wyvern. But that's just one of those, I think colloquialism is the proper word. Yeah. Just different from place to place. Right. And actually, before we go to anything else, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Only you can prevent loss of save data. Okay, press it up. Now, onward. Is there any other place to explore? Nope, okay. For such a big, for such we, a big... We've optimized again, we're gonna be strong. <laughs> for such a big landmark, you'd think there'd be more to explore. Yeah. Elder Asomnia had a lot more secrets than that. Come on, guys. Let's head over to Mr. K's hideout. It seems he's in league with the Dark Alliance after all. See, it's like I told you. But isn't it too early to act? We don't have any concrete evidence yet. We'll have all the proof we need when we get to his hideout. What will we do if we don't find any evidence? Simple. We just trash the hideout. It's <laughs> a plan. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You call that a plan? <laughs> well, it's better than just sitting around doing nothing. That I can agree with. Okay, let's go. We're heading west to Mr. K's hideout at the Wyvern Ravine. Alright, made back to Wyvern's Ravine. This looks like the place marked on the map. I'm detecting incoming mobile suits. A large number of them. This must be the hideout then. Come on guys, let's go.
I should have healed. Oh. Took a little damage from me. Her. Safe, huh? Hopefully. We didn't stock up on item items. No, we didn't. That seems to be the one thing that we're not doing right this Let's Play. Okay, so, uh, we actually made it to Warbens Ravine, but I think that might actually be a good place to go ahead and call this, because that's, we just made some story progress, and if I remember correct, we actually have a boss character right up ahead, so that'd be a good place to start up the next one. Okay. Alright, so, um, this has been Blake Cross EXC. And Ryoji42. Power Flash and Blake's Productions. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, we continue with the Mess Saga. Peace out. Peace.